hey guys, Nigerians do not really want to, you know, back down this time around. People were speaking up concerning the government attitude and Nigerians as well. You know, so when they talk, say, INEC rigged the election. Tunubu rigged the election. APC rigged the election. I beg, who be all these people? INEC officials, are they not Nigerians? Don't they go to the market? Now, let's go down to, to party agents, where all these things started from. These people are Nigerians as well. They go to the same markets we go. They go to Philly Station as well. In fact, everybody understand what thing they happen for the country. Even in the, the insecurity issue. If you look at this matter clearly, eh? APC not gets APC not gets anything when they won't come do back again for for Nigeria. But because people the people they have their personal interest. Majority of Nigerians have their personal interests. So on that, it not consign them. If if they like, may people die. Now waiting be my own, I be my own. And that is why we are here today. I really love what this Reverend Father said. And I believe it will send a very strong message to these people. Enough is enough. Nigerians are going through a lot. And we are passing through a lot. And the same people who are shouting, we are dying, you know, this and this. You still see them committing evil against themselves. Wait till then they call that one. I go just did they hurt your own self because of what you won't get. Now, if you want to talk about rigging election, the rigging of this presidential election, it not starts on that election day. We now forget what happened for primaries. Even the PDP primary and the um, APC primary, not be people collect dollars when they accuse themselves. Nigerians, <laughs> this country, we get a long way to go before we go move forward. And until we tell ourselves the truth, that we are tired of what we are going through, we can never be free from all these things. When they see the truth, we're not going to feel because of our selfish interest. Anyway, let's quickly hit the news and get the full details. But before then, guys, if you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. You are responsible for rigging the election. Yet, you want to go on strike over bad governance. Who are you deceiving? Reverend Father Carpet Asso. Hmm. Gambia-based Nigerian Catholic priest, Reverend Father Chineye Uloma, has claimed that some Nigerians like the Academic Staff Union of University Asso is the reason the country has refused to move forward. He opined that a wrong attitude would stop the nation from entering the promised land, irrespective of how much the citizenry pay praise. Niger News reports that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, uses university senior lecturers for the conduct of elections in Nigeria. They serve as returning officers. Speaking via a, a video on Facebook on Monday, the clergyman alleged that members of ASO help politicians rig elections and thereafter turn around to complain about the bad condition of public investors, saying it is as a result of wrong attitude. He said, wrong attitude can keep you from entering the promised land. Sometimes we can pray very well, shake mountains with prayer, but our attitude is what keeps us from going into the promised land. Look at professors. We we have a soul strike for almost one year. But professors, we come and read riots art and may want to go on strike so that government will do this. Government must do that. It will be the same professors that we go and write wrong results, he said. These have generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians, let's hear them out. Someone said, Thunder fire you for saying rubbish. 
Igbo prophet will never cease to say stupid things. That Peter will be run for presidential election and lost does not speak evil about the innocent university professors. Igbos voted and succeeded in rigging in favor of Obi, but did not succeed in the north. Hence, he came distanted. Please, allow Nigeria to move forward. We have already settled for Tinubu, and we and he will be sworn in come May 20, 29. Okay, soon you will start to complain just like many houses did during President Muhammad Buhari regretting why they voted for him just because of his brother. I think we have to we have to stop all these attacks, whether this person is from Igbo, outside Europe, but that is not what we are talking about. This recent election that was conducted by Professor Mahmoud Yakubo, the INEC chairman, we saw they, so many professors were caught. You understand? This will not be said, they just a talker. So many professors, those are Nigeria professors, then they talk, say, if one hand touch oil, it goes to everybody. Saying that Nigerian professors did this and that, that does not mean that all of them, you know, did it. But some of them participated in that. You get it. Some of them participated in that fraud. So this is not the issue of Peter B won election or Atiku Abubaka uh, lost election or Bola Tinubu lost election or win election. We are talking about Nigeria here. The attitude of Nigerians, that is what we are talking about. And as it takes right now, Nigeria is at stake. Yes, we are the one going to be suffering it because we have refused to do the needful. And if we don't drop this tribalism and all that, this is where we are. And that is where we are going to be. Nigeria play politics of tribalism. Ethnic politics, ethnic city, that is what we do. Religious politics. This man is from my is from my place, is from my region, and that is the reason why I will, he will be voted for. You don't even want to know whether the person is competent or not. We just have to step up. If not, we are going nowhere. I'm dropping it here, guys. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for listening.